guys i'm back i know it's been a minute um since my last video but um also if you don't know me hi my name's ella i make a lot of fun lifestyle college videos and as you can tell i'm back in my dorm so today's gonna be another college video um so this is just gonna be sorry the paper listed out everything i wanted to say because i wanted to be precise and to the point in this video but today i just wanted to include all my tips to survive your first semester in college so let's go so my first tip is to make friends. You, even if you end up rooming with your roommate, you're gonna want like a squad. Like you can't just do things with one person. You definitely wanna make a friend group. So you need to go out, meet people, join things. Like definitely, even though like I complain about the dorm, sorry, I touch my hair so much. So anyway, even though I complain about the dorms, like it's definitely made me make friends cause you're forced to live in like the same environment as a ton of people like your age who are going through exactly what you are so if you can live in the dorms i do recommend like i don't say it's great but it is a good recommendation if you're worried about not making friends um so like join clubs intramurals greek life um even like academic clubs like there's something for everyone in college and that's the great part and no one's like clicky or anything because like we're all in like late teens, 20s, no one has time for that. So like everyone's just out here living their best life. So definitely make friends. And so for my second tip, make time to study. Like for me, I'm a huge night owl. I will go to the library between usually nine to 3 a.m. is my study time. I do not recommend this for anyone unless you are a true night owl. And I do not recommend going alone biggest one of the biggest mistakes i've ever made just because it's not safe but i don't get anything done in my dorm i can't there's a tv there's wi-fi there's snacks i'm just i laze about so make time to go to the library is my biggest recommendation start that at the beginning of the year doesn't matter what time you go as long as you're going and you're getting work done don't go with a big group of friends you're not going to get anything done unless it's a group project then you might get something done but don't just go with friends you're going to end up socializing and just go go either with snacks or right after you eat so you have a full belly like you're ready to sit down and work because that is like the ultimate reason why you're in school is to get your degree so make time to study grades aren't everything but they are a huge part and they are the only reason or not the only but one of the main reasons you go to college is to get good grades good grades degree degree job job money money fund your lifestyle whatever lifestyle you pick so make time to study is my second tip Number three is to make a routine, include like besides your day-to-day -day school life, like in whatever clubs you join, like say, I'm gonna do laundry on Mondays and I'm going to do dishes on Tuesdays. Like have a routine of things that you do and it'll make college a lot easier. It'll make it feel a lot like you're still at home and make it feel as big and scary because you know what you're doing every day. It gives you a little more reassurance. So that's definitely what I found. I'm sorry if I'm talking so fast. I've had a lot of caffeine if you can't tell. Um, so that's probably one of the biggest things that helped me was having a routine, just being back in school, like after school, I would have lunch, go straight from lunch. I would usually go to my dorm. I would either do some sort of laundry or I would chill and then I'd go th straight from there to either swim or sorority, depending on the day of the week. And then from that, I would then move on to either going to the library or going to dinner, like with my friends, just at one of the meal halls, like find something that you can do on the daily so you know what you're doing and that way you can also plan around it when different events come up um number four self-care like even though this is like one of the young like you are a young adult now you're pretty much like you're in your prime you're like everyone views you as like indestructible like you can drink as much as you want and you have no like problems like also everyone says about your like late teens early 20s definitely not the case you need to have self-care in college i'm not saying like there's definitely no time or at least in my dorm like we don't have a bath we have communal showers but like make time to just have or at least like one weekend or not even a full weekend you can just have a couple hours where you're just like i'm just gonna do what i want i'm gonna just like drink a ton of water put on a face mask put in my headphones like watch sit down and watch a show like uninterrupted time just for yourself because you, like especially if you live in the dorms you're never alone you're either with your roommate or your friends or your classmates like there's always something going on even if you go somewhere by yourself there's people everywhere so 
make time to have at least probably an two to three hours a week just by yourself where you're not sleeping just so like you can decompress because that's definitely something I think a lot of college kids at least in like my friend group of stuff we definitely struggle with is finding time just for ourselves where we're not just caught up all the time with everything that's going on there's definitely something I extremely struggled with last semester was just finding time on my own because I'm doing club swim I'm in a sorority I'm also taking a ton of hours I wasn't coming home till one or two in the morning on the regular, just, I wasn't even partying. I just had so much to do. It just wasn't possible to get it all done in a day. And like, that's how I ended up drinking three, four Red Bulls a day just to like make it through. Cause I was staying awake till two or three studying. And then I had an 8 AM and there's just so much going on in college. You really want to take care of yourself. And if you can start good habits in your first semester, it'll make the rest of them easier. Definitely your first semester is the hardest. Like definitely not academic wise but socially I think just because like you're in a new environment you don't like even if you go in knowing people from high school chances are you either aren't going to hang out with them or they're going to be your only friends so you definitely want to be able to branch out and make new friends it's the whole reason you're there so you just you need to take time to care for yourself because you're going to be surrounded by so much and I'm pretty sure I'm so repetitive and I'm extremely sorry also self-care goes into just like if you do end up partying you need to like be like uh, you just need to words words just take time to realize like you need to make sure you're in a safe environment where you feel comfortable and you just need to make sure you have good friends with you people that are gonna have your back like no matter what goes down and make sure like you always have a ride make sure that ride is a safe reliable ride because walking places in the dark as a young girl is not okay. It's not safe. I've made that mistake. It's not good. So definitely just being aware of your surroundings. I think that can also go into the self-care category and just knowing when you want to go home and not being afraid to be like, to speak your mind and be like, hey guys, it's late. I'm tired. I need to do some homework. Like I need to go home. Like don't be afraid to say how you feel. And then number five, would be to live your best life this is everyone says high school is the best four years of your life i think they're completely wrong i think colleges high school doesn't even matter like it's just so clicky and like you always have there's clicks there's everyone's judging you you're still kind of awkward the first two years and then there's all this pressure of driving in college and your parents and i think college is a time where you can really figure out what you want to do find yourself like find what you're into because like your parents aren't around your normal surroundings aren't around you're not in your small hometown anymore you're able to get out in the real world and enjoy things so I really think you should definitely make the most of that if like you do have the chance to go away for college like I didn't go too far away I'm still in my like home state I'm only three hours from home but I went far enough to way to where like I don't see everyone from my high school on the daily I don't see my parents on the daily I mean I wish I could see them my dogs more but like it is what it is and it's definitely it's a time to really enjoy yourself and figure out what you want to do and I think a lot of people don't realize that they get really stressed out with work or they just only get caught up with like their friend life or school and I think this is a time where like you're young and you're in your 20s and everyone is like it's okay that you're gonna make mistakes and I think that's something that you really gotta own and be like you know what it's okay I messed up or this didn't go the way I planned but I'm gonna do better next time and this is one of the few times in your life where you can be like I'll do better next time and it's okay to say that so yeah those are I hope you guys enjoyed my tips my I guess top five I'm pretty sure that was five five top five tips to enjoy your first semester of college so I hope you guys would like, comment, and subscribe, and you can follow all of my social down below if you want to see what my day-to-day -day school life is about. So have a great afternoon, morning, or night, wherever you are. Bye!